Hello fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle for Tuesday the 2nd of November 2021. I wasn't able to get yesterday's New York Times hard level puzzle. Uh, even though I tried the trick of changing the dates on the computer and logging in, it didn't work. So uh, I've missed yesterday's. If anybody has the numbers and wants to send them to me, please do and I'll put them up in the solver and try it for you. Uh, in the meantime, here's today's puzzle, the New York Times hard level puzzle. Um, and uh, before we get to it, I, the, the chanting seems to have stopped. So I was, I was thinking it was very Zen-like that we've had chanting for the last, uh, I don't know, five or ten minutes or something like that from my neighbour. Um, but it seems to have stopped now, so I'm going to get on with uh, the game. Without the Zen-like chant, chanting of monks in the background, which I'm not sure helps anyway. I certainly see one blocking up here, one blocking across there, and across there. So the first number for the New York Times hard level for the 2nd of November is there. Oh, the chanting has started again. Okay. I uh, hope you find that um, uh, an, an aid to concentration. If you can hear it, there is. I'm not sure if the microphone is picking it up, but anyway, I can. Seven blocking here, seven blocking across here. That's a seven there. Four blocks across here, four blocks across here. So that's a four in that location there. And this is a bit convoluted, but I see, look, 4 is in one of these two squares, right? We've got 4 blocking down here, so 4 is in one of these two squares, which will block across here. And now we have 4 blocking down here, so what do we know? We know 4 has to be in these squares, all right? Now let's focus on the central block here, and we can say that 4 blocks across here, 4 blocks across here, 4 down here, 4 up here. And so we know that that has to be a 4, even though we weren't able to um, finally place the 4 in these squares here. We know, we know where it's going to appear at some point. Oh, the chanting stopped again anyway. Uh, right, what else? I see a three blocking down here all the way and a three blocking down here and a three across here. So again, just one white square where we can stick a three. So let's put it in. Uh, okay, this column appears to be lacking a 9. Well, we have a blocking 9 here and we have a blocking 9 here. So that's got to be a 9. I think that the missing numbers here and here are 4 and 8. And clearly this can't be an 8 because of this square here. So that's got to be a 4 and the 8 has got to be in this square here. We have a 9 blocking down here and a 9 across here, so this is a 9. <coughs> Excuse me. just looking at stuff there I was diverted for a little while looking at possibilities didn't come up with anything useful though so um, I'm back on vocalizing <laughs> trying to give some kind of commentary it 
let's go through the numbers, shall we? Let's highlight some stuff <coughs> and see where we're getting. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, one. Oh, that's the only two. Okay. Oh, okay, so now we've got four down here and we've got four blocking here, so that is in fact a four there now. Uh, okay. I'm just going around very quickly again, just in case there's anything I missed the first time. I, and something changed slightly, but not much. Um, okay, no. All right, that's it then. So there's nothing else for me to look at now. So let's um, try and put in some paired candidates, shall we? Um, are there any? I mean, I know there are some. Uh, there don't appear to be any ones, though. Twos, I know there aren't any. Twos, let's just double check. Oh, okay, so let's put in these two first of all. Okay, that, that would help. So two and seven are missing here. Let's put those in at least. Um, it's just, just the only two there, right? Two, um, don't know anything else. Threes, then three blocks across here, across here, and up here, so possible threes in those squares there. Three down here, three across here, so threes in those squares there. Three across here, three across here, and three down here, so a nice little pair of threes there. Fours then have to appear in this square, and this square, and these, this square, and this square. That's it for the whole um, grid. Fives, five blocks down here, and five blocks up here. So a pair of, excuse me, a pair of fives in there. Five across here, five across here. So a pair of fives there. Five up here, so a pair of fives in those squares. I think that's it. Six is six blocks this square here, so we have a pair of sixes here, which will lead us back across, and six blocking across here, so a pair of sixes there. Six down here, six across here, so a pair of sixes in those squares. Uh, that's about it. Sevens. Hmm. Not very lush with sevens, are we? Eights. Okay, so eight blocks up here, so we have a pair of eights in those two squares there. Nothing else that we can say. Nines, nine blocks across here and nine blocks up here, so two nines as candidates there. 
nine across this way and across to the left here as well gives us a pair of nine candidates there. And that is that, I think. So that wasn't very productive, was it really? We didn't find any um, naked pairs or any useful, really useful numbers there, I think. I'm just going to uh, finish this shoot now. So the missing number in these squares is a 7. Let's put that in. Um, missing from this um, block here, we have a 2 and... Uh, what's the other number? 2 and 6. And we don't have any info on 2s or 6s, right? So I have to put them in all squares. Okay, that, that's... Uh, this shoot is now complete, but we, I know there's nothing we can do about it. Um, so, sh where to go? Now, where's the single two? Which ones are on the top? So, I'm going to go along the top here. So, let's say one blocking up here, one blocking up here. So, that's ones there. Two blocking across here. So, that's twos in those squares there. Three, four, five, six are done. Seven blocks up here. So 7 is limited to these squares. Uh, do we know anything about 8? No, we don't really. So 8 can go anywhere. Hmm. And 9 blocks across this row here. And that's it. So 9s are available in those squares there. That wasn't very useful. It just put me lots and lots of candidates up there. But anyway, never mind. 1 blocking up here. 1 is there. Um, two blocks across here, two is here. I have a feeling I've not played this game in the right way. Three, four, five blocking across here. Oh, five's done, sorry, six is done. Sevens, seven blocking up here, so seven like this. Uh, eights can go anywhere. Ah, we've got a single 8 because 9 blocks up here, 9 blocks across here, so 9 in these squares. I was just about to say, I don't think I've played this game in the right way, but now that I've found a single, I recant and say, well, maybe I am playing it okay. Let's get rid of 8s in all of these squares, shall we? Now, are there any other 8s that we can get? How about down here? <clears throat> hmm. All right, let's examine this top shoot and see if there's anything useful. Um, reason I was about to say that I don't think I played it well was because I, or correctly, is because I'm not sure that I checked things like this. What's missing from this row here? Let me see. Uh, two, five, and nine. Is that right? Oh, no, it still wasn't useful anyway. How about down here? Four is limited to here. Six. Six. No, okay. All right, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> let's just let's just carry on. Uh, where to go? Where to go? Middle block. I've no idea. One one is done. Uh, twos can go anywhere, right? Two is going to be a bit of a problem, I think. Uh, three is done. Four is done. Five is not done, and five we don't know anything about. So five can go anywhere. Uh, six is not done yet, so six blocks down here and across here, so we can have six in those squares. Seven is done, nine is done, but eight is not done yet. Eight blocks across the middle, eight blocks down here, so we've got 
three corner squares available for eight. Okay, down bottom here, one blocking down here, one blocking across here, so three locations for one. Two, we don't know anything about, so two can go anywhere. Uh, three blocks across this, oh, three is done, sorry, four is done, five blocks across here and across here, so we've got a strip of fives at the bottom. Six blocks across here, six blocks down here, so three possibilities for six. Seven down the middle column, so seven in these squares. Nine we've got, eight we don't have yet, and eight we have blocking the middle and down here, so again three corner squares for eight. Right, let's look and see, yay! Immediately we see a pair, two and seven, two and seven, so what do we know? We know that we can remove two and seven there. Now, how has that helped us? Not a great deal, but anyway, I've seen something else. This 2, 7 here, 2, 7, 9, and 7, 9 here. So we have three numbers in three squares now. So remember, any 2s, 7s, or 9s in this column we can remove. So this 2 is goodbye. This 2 and 9 is goodbye. And down here, the 2 and the 7 bye-bye. Now we've got a single 5 left here because we have actually filled in all of this, all of the candidates in this block. So that's great. So in goes the 5. And we can also place a two here. Right, so let's do some candidate removal, shall we? Let's get rid of the twos in this square, here, 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 and here. And let's get rid of the fives here, 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 here and down here, and here. Okay, and now we can realize that that's the only five available to us so we also have to get rid of this five here and we can place a five in this square here we're left with a single six down here a one here and now one blocking up here so that will give us a one in this square let's get rid of the ones where we don't need them okay uh, also we don't need a one there right now Uh, that was pretty easy, wasn't it, um, to tidy up there. So we're left with 3, 8, and 3, 8 there. That looks good. Something's wrong here. We've got a 2, but we can't have a 2. So let's get rid of it. We've got a 6, and we can't have a 6. That has to be a 3. This has to be a 5. And we can place a, must place a 5 in that square there. Uh, okay, this 5 has to be erased. Uh, this looks like the only place for a 9 now. Let's click on 9. Yep, that's the only place for a 9. So we can put our 9 there and we can remove our 9 from this cell here. One number is missing from this row. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine it is. Let's choose the correct mode first. And then let's put a nine in this square here because that was part of that uh, pair. And let's remove the nine there. And let's remove the nine there. Oh, and here. Okay. <clears throat> It's looking pretty good now. We've got a single six up here now. Let's put it in. And then this has got to be a six here, and that gives us a four in this square here. The six can go now. And uh, this six can also be kicked out. Okay, now we have a 
of 7 and 9, like so. Um, there's only one 6 possible here, so we place our 6 here. We need one number to finish this block, that's an 8. Let's put in, this must be a 3 now. Okay, this three blocks across here, so we know in fact three is a pair in those squares there, so we do have a matching pair there. Six gives us a two in this by value cell here, so this will be a six here. Um, that makes this square a seven and this square a two. Seven here, two here. Should we get rid of the twos? Okay. And also I've got a six here that we must now remove so now we've got a pair of seven and eight so this seven cannot exist and must become a two uh, that means we have to remove the twos here and across here like that okay so it looked pretty tough didn't it at the beginning but it's really become a kitten i think uh, in the last few minutes uh, Really not so tough, in fact. And this is 7 and 8, so this would have to be a 7 or 8, but immediately, look, you can see there's a very close by 7 there. So we know that that has got to be an 8 if I can choose the correct mode. And that must be our 7, and our 8 must be here. This 8 means that that can no longer be true and should be a one. I have filled in all the candidates up here, haven't I? I'm just suddenly got a bit um, strange feeling that I haven't filled in all the candidates, but yeah, I guess I have. So one blocking down here, one blocking down here, that gives me a one in that square. Let's get rid of the one there. Uh, one number necessary for this column, it looks to be a two. Okay, and the last number that we need here is a seven. So all of those sevens can now quietly disappear and that will give me a nine in this square. Seven here, nine here. Uh, get rid of that nine. Something's wrong here. Now we've got seven, so that has to be an eight. We've got the seven and eight, so this is a six now. Seven here means that that square there is a seven, not this one. Okay, three, eight, and three, eight pair here now. This eight cannot be true, it must be a two. Two blocking this square, so this square has got to be a two. The last number in this row, is it an 8? I think it is, okay, which gives us 3 in this square here, 8 in this square, the 3 leads to a 4 here, and a 3 to give us our jumping rainbow pattern now, because the website has not quite worked out how to put the puzzle in the same place after you click successfully on the last digit, anyway. Okay, so that's the 2nd of November, uh, New York Times Hard Level Puzzle. I will be catching up on the Los Angeles Times games that I've missed. Uh, probably today, I'll rest my mouth for a little bit now, because it is still aching quite a lot, to be honest with you. And it is swollen like a balloon. It's absolutely, I'm absolutely puff-faced. Um, but I'll be back with some more later. Thank you for joining me. Bye-bye.